Konnichiwa minasan and welcome to the class in the second lecture series on introduction to Japanese language and culture. So today we are going to do something new. We are going to learn how to ask for permission and how to give permission. When permission is not allowed and how to give it formally and informally. What we are supposed to say at that time. So let us see as I always do, let us see what we have in our kaiwa and then I will do the explanation and the grammar. Mira, Keita kun no tanjobi no present o kaimashita ka? Mada desu. Watashi mo mada desu. Ano, issho ni kai ni ikemasen ka? Chotto matte ne, sensei ni kiite mimasu. So she goes to the room and sensei sumimasen desu ga, gogo yoji ga aru no de, so you heard the kaiwa just now and the kaiwa is between Taro and Mira. They are probably in the same lab or very close by. They are both students it looks like. So let us see what they are talking about. So well, it's very simple. Mira ketaku no tanjobi no presento o kaimashita ka? Have you bought it? Mada desu. So we did mada earlier which means not yet. Haven't bought it as yet. Taro says watashi mo me too. Me also, mada desu. I have also not bought it as yet. Ano, so now he wants to ask for a favor. He's a little hesitant. So he's taking time to say all of this. And this automatically shows the listener that you want to ask something or you want to say something and you are a little hesitant about it. Ano, isho ni kai ni ikimasen ka? So let's go to buy it together. Chotto matte ne, sensei ni kiite mimasu. Just wait for a minute. Let me ask sensei. So I told you earlier also, kiku is for ask and for hear both. So depending on the situation, the meaning will change. Sensei ni kiite mimasu. I will ask him and see whether he will allow me or not and this part is to be understood and Mira goes in the room and says sensei sumimasen desu ga I am sorry for disturbing you but gogo yoji ga aru no de yoji is not yoji which is four o'clock this is yoji some work ga aru no de because ni sanji kan for two three hours itte mo i desu ka is it all right if i go out now no de over here no de is equal to kara you've done it a number of times you will see when you are using no de the listener understands the reason is genuine with kara, it is just very informal and just an information. Kamaimasen yo, I don't mind. It's all right. Sensei, domo arigato gozaimashita. So you just don't say domo arigato gozaimashita. Always add this when you are talking to your teachers. Do datta, do deshita ka. Daijobu desu yo. So very, very informal from here you can make out that it is informal and also they are not using san over here. So it is just on first name basis. So very, very informal. Nanji ni aimashoka. Ni over here is for nanji ni at what time aimashoka shall we meet. 
or you could also say nanji ga ii desu ka meaning is the same. What time is a good time? Sanji wa do how about? We have done all these things earlier. I just keep repeating for you so that you are able to understand it better and you remember these and are able to use them in your sentences and conversation. Wakatta genkan de ai masho. Let's meet near the genkan which is the gate. This is all in the script. You have kaimas I have done with you earlier. Kai, kai mas kau is the verb. Then tetsudau. Te, you have done te, tetsu dau, tetsu dai mashoka, tetsu dau. Nijikan, sanjikan, you have done jikan. Now, this is an interesting kanji, very, very similar. All the kanji characters look very similar. So, dai, then Jo and this is longer bu dai jo bu. You see this kanji a lot. Then ai masho au au. So all these kanjis keep looking at them at least so that you can remember and when you look at it during the exam, you are able to understand what it is. Now, there were two things that were new in the kaiwa. The first one we are going to do now, which is verb mass form and particle ni. Now, what does it show? Particle ni like this with a verb in its stem form shows purpose. Now, another important thing that you need to remember over here is that it can only be used with motion verbs. And what are motion verbs? Well, you all know you have been doing them all along with particle A showing direction. So, when you move in a certain direction towards a certain goal, that is where you will use motion verbs. And the motion verbs that you have done are iku, kuru and kairu. Well, there are others as well. You can remember them here only it will be easy for you. So, another motion verb which you have done earlier but not as a motion verb is hairu. Now, there are some motion verbs which look like motion verbs but are actually not considered motion verbs though they do show motion in a certain direction. Now, what are those verbs? Before I do this with you, what are those verbs? Well, those verbs are oyogu, then you have aruku and you have hashiru. Oyogu means to swim, aruku is walk and hashiru is run. They also look like motion verbs, but when the action is happening, the action is also happening and you are also moving. So, thus they are not considered motion verbs. And the motion verb Besides iku, kuru and kairu are hairu and deru. These are though look like motion verbs, but are not motion verbs. Now, verb in stem plus ni, how do you make it? Well, yomi mas. No mi mas, hanashi mas, tabe mas. So just remove the mas from here. This is the stem. So to the stem add particle ni, which shows for this purpose, for doing this activity, you are going somewhere. So now from this only you can understand that the verbs that are going to be used are going to be ikukuru and kairu. Now, you have also done patashiva place a ikimasu. So, this is 
just going in this direction. But when you say place ni ikimas, you go with the purpose. Now over here it is place a noun, we are using it with verbs. Now see how it is done. As you can see, indicates movement with purpose. So well, verb mas plus ni and noun plus ni. Hanashimas, hanashi ni ikimas or tabe ni ikimas. Tabe ni ikimas. Look at the examples now. Watashi wa benkyo shi ni gakko ni ikimas or gakko e ikimas. Benkyo shi ni for the purpose of. Benkyo is a noun and she is a verb. So this is what changes. She must remove this. This is group 3. Put ni over here going towards the gakko or going to gakko. To do what? To study. Now, watashi wa sensei ni ai ni to meet sensei ai mas as I told you in your previous slide. Just remove the mas form. Gakko ni ikimas or gakko e ikimas. Both can be used over here because purpose is shown very clearly by this ni. Then, John wa shigoto o shini for the purpose of working. Nihon ni Kimashita. So, as I told you, all three verbs kuru, iku and kairu will be used. They are the three motion verbs, the main three motion verbs and you can see you have made a sentence with kimashita also. He has come or he came to Japan for doing what? For working. Mira wa gohan o tabeni for the purpose of eating. To eat gohan, shokudo ni ikimashita. She has gone to the shokudo or shokudo e ikimashita. Now, kino shigoto no ato, hotel no shokudo ni gohan o tabe ni hairi mashita. I entered the shokudo, which is the dining hall of the hotel, to do what? To eat. Gohan, Gohan Otabe ni for the purpose of eating Gohan. Yesterday, after work, I went to the Shokudo of the hotel. I think it is clear now. This is how you can make with other motion verbs like Hairu and Deru. Now, there are a few kanjis here. You can Look at this one. Now tell me where it is written. Can you tell me please? Where is it written? Well, it is written over here. You can see. Now this small kanji that you have is of chichi. And this one over here is kodomo. So chichi is sending Kodomo to school to study under the tree or under some kind of a roof to learn something. So that is how this kanji has come into being. This is learning and this is place. Now, I mas is over here. Au. Au. Now you have an important kanji which you should know which is Benkyo. You know the word, so benkyo. So a simple kanji, though it looks very complicated, but simple. And what is this? This is chikara. Just this part is chikara means strength, like this. Then you have this and like this. So with chikara, you do benkyo to work. Then gakko as I just told you over here. This is kodomo and under the tree or under some roof you are studying your father has sent you to study. Then shokudo. What does this mean? This is taberu. You have done taberu. 
Now, what is this? This means a hall. So, this is small like this shoku and do. This is a little longer. So, please make it properly like this and one, two, three. This one, then make a kuchi one line and this is the longest. This means a hall and this means eat. So, place of eating shokudo. Then you have shigoto. Now, shi and go to. Shoku do. Gakko. So, now this is also koto, which means thing, but not as in something which you can see. We are going to do this word in detail soon. Now, how will you ask a question? Nani o shini gakko e ikimasu ka? Nani o shini to do what? Benki o shini ikimasu with a verb. Then, doshite departo e ikimasu ka? Why are you going to the department store? Kaimono ni ikimasu. So, now you will see this is with a noun. What is the difference over here? The verb will come verb in stem form plus ni and noun ni iku or kuru whatever the situation may be. When you are using verbs in group 4, so they are noun plus verb category and verb is shimas. So, you can also make with noun like this. Benkyo ni ikimasu could also have been done. Benkyo ni iku because this is a noun. But benkyo shi ni iku is this is a verb. Now, I think it is very very clear to you. Kaimono ni ikimasu is a kanji here which I want to do. Kai and mono. Mono you have done earlier with tabe mono, nomi mono, Kimono. So, kai mono. Iku is another kanji. I keep making these for you so that you are comfortable. You can also say kai mono o shini ikimasu for the purpose of, of shopping or kai mono ni ikimasu just shopping ni ikimasu. Now, Benkyo shini ikimasu for the purpose of studying or just for studying. I think it is clear you can use all verbs in group 4 in this pattern and group 1 and group 2 in this pattern. Now, you have something here which I am sure you can see now nan de and naze. Naze is polite for doshite. Naze is polite for nande. When nande means doshite. Nande also means by what means. Kuruma de ikimasu. Nande ikimasu ka? Kuruma de ikimasu. And also naze why ikimasu ka? Both meanings are there, depends on situation and context. Now, there was something else also in our kaiwa which was new today, which I had talked about in the beginning, and that is asking permission. So, is it all right if I do a certain thing? So, what is the pattern? The pattern is very simple verb in te form plus mo i desu ka. These two we are going to cover in our next lesson. Today we are going to do it with verbs. It is going to be easy as you have done verb in te form earlier. So, how will you make te form? Well, you have done it for group 1. It, it te, matte, tatte, yonde, 
飲んで話して貸して止めて All these you have done you can refer to that lesson and see how te form is made. I will show it to you after a while here as well. So in group 1 and group 2, tabete, mite and mete. So let us see the example first. Kono isu o tsukatte mo i desu ka? So verb in te form plus mo i desu ka? Is it alright if I use this isu? Kono isu ni? There is another one over here. Kono isu ni? Swatte mo i desu ka? Is it alright if I sit over here? So you will see that there is a ni. So generally what the mistake we all do, we use naka. Kono isu no naka ni. So that makes it inside the isu, not on the chair. So please do not use this. Koko ni or kono isu tsukatte mo i desu ka or koko ni swatte mo i desu ka. Keep that in mind. Now she is writing something, so the verb is kaku, ka i, te is the te form, so shiken ni enpitsu de kaite mo i desu ka, shiken ni during the shiken, de, nan de, by what, so enpitsu de, by enpitsu, kaite mo i desu ka, is it alright if I write in pen? Or empitsu is pencil, so pencil. So the answer could be hai i desu or ie dame desu. So as she is pointing over here, it looks like it is hai i desu. So I think it's easy, you know the te form, so you can just add mo i desu ka to it and make your sentences, ask questions, give permission or simply do not give permission. There are more examples for you. Okaasan shiken ga owatta no de terubi o mite mo ii desu ka? Is it alright if I watch television? Owatta no de. No de is because and owatta is past tense for o wa Ru. Owaru is the verb. Look at this kanji over here. Today I will not do this kanji as you have done one difficult kanji of Benkyo. We are going to do it next time. Just look at this and when I make this kanji next time, then I am sure you will be able to recognize. So, okasan shiken ga owatta no de because it is over. Terubi omite mo i desu ka. Terubi o object over here. Terubi omite mo ii desu ka? That's what she's asking. So what does Okasan say? Iyo, casually because she's her daughter, no formal situation. Iyo, it's all right. Mite iyo, dozo, just dozo could also have been used. Dozo or mite iyo, or you can join all and say, dozo mite mo ii desu. So now she is telling it properly. Dozo mite mo ii desu. Or mite mo ii desu. Yo can also be used over here. So all these are at home expressions that you can use with people junior to you. Your family members, people you are informal with. Now there is one uh, kanji. Owaru kanji which we should do as it has a kanji which you have done. This is ito. Ito means thread. Thread. So you join it with which kanji? Fuyu. Kanji for fuyu. And make it one which is like this. Six character kanji. One, two, three, four, five and six. And then you add this over here to 
Hito, it becomes Owaru. Now, there is something small over here, this one, this is Hi, I, Sai. So, you learn three simple kanjis and make a muzukashi kanji and that becomes Owaru. I desu ka? Uchi de kore no renshu wo shite kudasai. What is this? This is tsukau and like this tsukau. Tsukau. Tsukai mas. Tsukai mas. To use obaru I just now did with you like this tsusai and then make fuyu which is o wa. This part is ito, this part is fuyu and the full kanji is owaru. Then we have haha like this, a lady is feeding her child. So, this means haha and this is miru. miru. So, so many kanjis you need to do 300 kanji characters plus the combinations of those kanjis for N4. All those of you who plan to appear for N4 need to do these kanjis in detail. Now, Mira is asking, Okaasan, ima terebi mite mo ii desu ka? Ima. Ima. Terebi mite mo ii desu ka? Mite mo ii yo? Or just ii yo? Or daijobu desu? Or dozo? All informal. Now, because she is her mother and she wants the best for her child and wants her to do well, so ima benkyo shita hoga ii desu. Terebi o minai de ne. You don't have to see terebi now. It is better that you study. You have done hoga, so shita hoga is a strong suggestion. And over here, because it is ne, it is from someone senior. Otherwise, kuda sai. Terebi o minai de kuda sai. Please do not watch TV. So it's an informal situation or an expression. Ima terebi yori benkyo shita hoga ii desu. Yori. More than watching TV, it's better that you do benkyo. And also she can say, ima terebi yori benkyo shita hoga ii to omoimasu, I think. So all these things you have done earlier, I am just revising it and showing how the answer can change in different situations. Now somebody is singing, so ongaku is music and uta is song, utau is to sing, uta is song and ongaku is given over here is music. Now before I do anything else, very very quickly this kanji you have done earlier, what does it mean? It means tanoshi. So when you add this character which is tatsu. To nichi, what does it become? It becomes oto. So ongaku is written like this. This character plus tanoshi oto is ongaku, something which is very lively and very happy, gives you happiness. That sound which gives you happiness is ongaku, which is music. So, what do we have over here? Uta o utatte mo ii desu ka? Is it alright if I sing? Ii desu yo. Uta o kiite mo ii desu ka? Ki. Iite mo ii desu ka? Ii desu yo. Dozo kiite kudasai. Over here the answer could be ki iite kudasai. So, you can answer like this. Ask and then answer. Any of these can work depending on whom you are 
talking to. Now there is more kanji tanoshi I have done. Now I think you will not forget the kanji for tanoshi and there was this other kanji which was oto. So tanoshi oto is ongaku. On gaku. And this is just tanoshi which is happy. It is an I adjective. Now ongaku is also here and I think I have made it. I do not have to do it again. Then kiku. Before kiku I think I should do mimi with you. So this is mi mi which is ear. And now if you look at this you have done aida. Now instead of this this is aida in between instead of this you can have mimi kite te kudasai make this first this one it's easy to make it like this and then this and this which is mimi because of mimi it is ku to here so these can be your ears from the two ears you hear otherwise the meaning of this is basically gate a moan now what is taro doing over here he is taking a shower so shower o a b ru is the verb this is in group 2 and Ima shawa ni dare mo inai kara shawa o abite mo ii desu ka dare mo no one. Shawa ni in the shower dare mo inai imasen kara shawa o abite mo ii desu ka is it all right if I take a shower. So the answer could be hai, answer could be dozo anything informal. Megane and kariru, kariru is to borrow. So Sumimasen, tegami ga yome nai no de, I cannot read. Megane o karite mo ii desu ka? So tegami ga yome nai no de, which is very, very true, can be understood clearly by the listener. So no de instead of kara, the reason is genuine. Megane o karite mo ii desu ka? Can I borrow your megane for a while? Megane o karite mo ii desu ka? Now, there is Another kanji, there are a lot of kanjis from now onwards for you. So, te you have done. Now, this character you did just now and what do you do over here? Just this and this. Te gami. Gami is paper, paper. So, on paper you write with your hands which is te gami. Iyo. Daijobu yo, dozo, any of this can be used. There is lots more. Ima bucho no heya ni dare mo inai kara, atte mo ii desu ka? So, look at the picture and see, bucho is sitting over here and Tanaka san wants to go in, talk to the bucho. So, first tell me what is he going to say over here? What is the phrase that he is going to use? You have done these phrases in your uh, last, I think, two or three lectures. So, tell me what is the phrase? That is correct. Phrase is shitsurei shimasu or sumimasen. So, he is asking his friend, Ima bucho no heya ni dare mo inai kara. Nobody is there. Atte mo ii desu ka? Is it all right if I go and meet him? Or hanashite mo ii desu ka? Is it all right if I go and talk to him? So the answer could be, mm, hai, atta hoga ii desu. Or dozo itte kudasai. Or dozo itta hoga ii desu. Hanashita hoga ii desu. Any of this could be the answer. And then what does he say? Sumimasen, haitte mo ii desu ka? So these you have done. These are some expressions and this is a proper way of asking, can I do this? You want, 
permission from the person who is sitting over here in the room that is it all right is it a good time to enter now or come in now so basically asking permission with mo e desu ka so you will notice that verb in te form plus mo e desu ka is basically asking for permission you will obviously ask permission in formal situations or from seniors those are simple direct now he is smoking and you will notice at a lot of places you will see this so what is it koko de tabako o sutte mo ii desu ka one is ii desu yo it's all right ie dame desu dame is it is not allowed soto de sutte kudasai or soto itte kudasai then koko wa chotto hinen desu it is prohibited so wherever you see this character written please remember that it is not allowed and you will see this at a lot of places where construction is going on where some electrical work is going on that you are not allowed to step over there especially in japan they will write this very carefully on a board and place it over there so that nobody steps near that place so tabako o sutte wa ikemasen okasan shiken ga owatta no de Terebi o mite mo ii desu ka? So she says, mite mo ii yo. This part you have done. Now, what does Okasan say if she wants you not to see the film? Or if she is not allowing? Then, ii e dame desu. We did it just now. Then, the correct phrase or the correct way of saying it is not allowed is Ie mite wa ikemasen. It is not allowed. You cannot do this. Permission is not granted over here. So, te wa ikemasen or te wa nai. Now, what does it mean? See from these examples. Kodomo wa sake o nonde wa ikemasen. It is better that children do not have sake or it is not allowed to have sake kodomo are not allowed to have sake it is prohibited sumimasen koko ni over here place ni kuruma o tomete mo ii desu ka to me ru is to stop so tomete mo ii desu ka to me and ru so meru is this is the kanji so ie tomete wa ike masen it is not allowed to meru stop you can see the kuruma over here so kuruma o tomete mo ii desu ka ie dame desu can also be used dame casual or tomete wa ike masen or ii desu yo kamai masen do it is in negative the answer means yes ii desu yo it's all right kamai masen i do not mind it's all right it's in masen form negative but meaning is positive now we have learned how to say it is not permitted or permission is not granted in different ways casually and formally as well now how will you say kamai masen and what does it mean i have just told you it means all right permission is granted so informally you can say this it's all right it's okay daijobu ii desu yo dozo i have already told you once So now let us see how to use kamai masen in our sentences. Literally it means not to worry. I don't mind. I have no objection. Basically permission is given. So sensei shiken ni jusho o tsukatte mo ii desu ka? Shiken ni. 
dame des. One is dame des, not allowed, not permitted. Skawanai de kudasai. And then, hai, skatte kudasai. Ii desu yo, daijobu desu yo, dozo. Jiu ni skatte kudasai. You can use it freely. So, any of these can be used. Then, skatte mo ii desu yo. You can see, skatte wa kamai masen. Kama wa nai. I don't mind. I have no problem. It's all right. So, that's how you would answer if you are giving permission as sensei said in the beginning. Kamai masen yo in the kaiwa. You can look up the kaiwa and see where it is used. Informally, kamai masen. Now, ice cream o tabete mo ii desu ka? So, ii e tabete wa ikemasen. You cannot have ice cream. Ii yo kamaimasen yo. I don't mind. You can go ahead. Now, he is giving reason also. Kaze o hiite iru no de. Very genuine reason. Hiite iru. Hiku is the verb. Hiite imas. You have a kaze. You have a cold. So, tabete wa ikemasen. You cannot have. So, please practice this in different situations using different uh, verbs and you will feel very comfortable. There is lots more today. So, suwaru. Koko ni suwatte mo ii desu ka? As we had earlier. So, ii e suwatte wa ikemasen. Not allowed, not permitted. Ii yo kamai masen as we did just now. Then, he is opening the window. And it is akeru. Akeru. So, mado o akete mo ii desu ka? Kamaimasen yo. I don't mind. Or ii e akete wa ikemasen. Or samui kara akenai de kudasai. Akenai ho ga ii desu. Akenai ho ga ii to omoimasu. Any of these can be used. And all other forms that you have done, you try to fit those in over here. Now, as I had said, I am going to do some idioms with you. So, this is a very, very uh, popular, famous idiom and uh, it works for everybody. Everybody needs to know this uh, um, idiom because it gives lot of confidence. And what does it mean? Saru mo ki kara ochiru. Saru, you can see from here is monkey. Saru is monkey. So, Saru mo ki from the tree, kara ochiru is to fall. So, monkeys who are so good, who are so deft uh, on the trees, climbing, jumping, living practically on trees, even they can fall. They are so good at it, but there are times when they would also land up here under the tree, fall and maybe break their bones. So, what does it convey? It conveys that you may be very good at it. You may be sure that you will not make a mistake. You have never made a mistake uh, in what you have done so far. But there could always be a time when you could land up making a mistake. So, however much you know, however much you think you can never do anything wrong, never go wrong, you just might. So, don't have to worry at all, don't have to feel bad or embarrassed or ashamed as everybody or anybody can make mistakes and you should learn from those mistakes and go forward. So, that is one part of the uh, kotowaza that don't bother, it's alright even monkeys fall from trees. So, the best of people can also make mistakes. Now, there is another part to this which says that if you are too confident, if you are overconfident about something, you are definitely going to fall. So, you have to remember those two things. These are very important. The first one gives us lot of confidence and the second one teaches us that we should not be overconfident. So, even if you do not um, do your kanjis well in the beginning, 
you are unable to understand uh, Japanese here in the beginning, don't worry, just keep working and you will be all right. Even if you make a mistake while talking, it does not matter, you are learning and gradually you will learn. So, sarumo kikara ochiru, never feel ashamed if you make a mistake. Learn from there and go forward. So, well, there is kanji for you also. We did these words, senjitsu, last or yesterday, senjitsu, yesterday, then senshu, sen shu, sen means before, earlier as in sensei, so sen shu, this is actually three, so one, two and three like this, then this means a continuation. So, senshu all through the last week. Then you have sengetsu. I am trying to give you words with sen, concentrate on the blue part, and sen getsu last month. Then you have mainichi, gomenasai, mainichi. It is like haha only. Mainichi is every day. Then ichinichi. Ju, which is all day long. These kanjis you have done, this kanji is of naka, this is nichi, this is tsuki, this is shu. So, well, nihon, nihon and ju. Nihon ju means all over Japan. So, there are two readings for this one, Nihon Ju, this is Chu, Naka and Ju. So, over here it is Chu Goku, which is Chu and Goku for China. And Naka you know, just the single character and over here Ichinichi Ju. So, please do these kanjis, you already know the words, that is why I am not Going into detail, you have done Saki or Sen in Sensei. Go over these kanjis and memorize them. And with this, I would like to finish your class today. There is lot of things we have done. There are lot of things we have done. We have covered a lot of kanji characters also. We have uh, covered purpose. We have covered temo ideska, which means permission, use it in te form and try to make sentences, do conversation and I am sure you will be comfortable. Prepare at home, work at home, make sentences and come for your next class all prepared and ready. Thank you very much. Mata aimashou. Arigatou gozaimashita. Thank you.